society. I agree with you 100%. Like, I, I say the civil rights movement is the civil rights entertainment industry because it's so profitable. Put a Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. And join my Patreon if you want to help to support the channels. The link is always in the description. And thank you once again for choosing to watch this video. To all my like, all my fans, and my haters, enjoy. All right, let's go. Because overwhelmingly, mail-in ballots were to Biden. That's obvious. Like, exactly. That's not because mail-in ballots are fraudulent, because mail-in ballots are actually not fraudulent at all. That this election was the safest election in recorded history. There's a lot of videos, so you see people with fake ballots. So. Show me. Show me. Citation needed. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Here and there, I'm not that's just here safe for random people on TikTok. Are we really going to like take that as like empirical evidence? It's personal opinion. <laughs> <laughs> it's a personal opinion, but do you have evidence? It is a reason why Trump lost 60 out of 60 fucking cases. There is no evidence. How much of a dumb fuck are you? Okay, okay. My name is Parker, I'm 19, and I'm a liberal. My sisters and I have uh, become a lot more liberal, a lot more left-leaning over time while my parents have stayed a bit conservative. Before, uh, when I was a conservative, I kind of just went off a lot of the indoctrination and propaganda that was spread to me when I was a kid. I grew up on the fact that, oh, we shouldn't have increased taxes because taxes are just negatively affecting us. Personal responsibility isn't what a lot of the decisions people make in society is based on. It's mainly based upon their environments, how they're socialized by their parents, people around them, things like that. My new source is more reliable than the other sides. A new source. When I uh, do we even like? Okay, okay, okay. Like sad note right now. Sad note right now. I will pay. I would pay if he actually go and puts a chair out of this motherfucking. <laughs> Okay, okay, I know I'm cruel. I know I'm cruel. Um, I would pay for that shit. I would pay for that shit. Oh, God. And even the worst thought, it, I would... F like, this motherfucker right here... I, I... Oh, God. Oh, God, if they say info words. Oh, God. Oh, God. Or OAN. Or Newsmax. Oh, shit. Shit. All right, let's go. I look at conservative news, I see a lot of conspiracies that I don't necessarily agree with. And so if everything comes from opinion and just people developing their own ideas, it just doesn't seem reliable to me. I feel like the only way we can get unbiased news is in order for news media organizations to stop prioritizing having really vivid headlines that might not necessarily be 100% accurate. I think that starts with putting people over profit. They want the, the biggest story or whatever, and they don't want to actually give the news that would be beneficial to our everyday average American. Um, and I think that if we put a lot more um, focus on putting people first instead of um, the big news or the big story, we can change that aspect of society. I agree with you 100%. Like, I, I say the civil rights movement is the civil rights entertainment industry, because it's so profitable. Put a Please tell me they have uh, his channel shit. Hold on. Ah. Ah. 
how do you spell this motherfucker? Jubilee. All right. I... I... They don't say who... Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Did he... Like, you guys heard that shit, right? Here, let's let's hear that shit again. Sorry. I agree with you 100%. Like, I, I say the civil rights movement is the civil rights entertainment industry. Because it's so profitable. Put a police shooting on TV. It's breaking news. Every headline is on every social media. You're selling shirts. You're selling signs. That's so much more profitable than showing me and you shaking hands. The news media is literally capitalizing off the emotions of society. No matter how you feel about it, Handle any of your privacy in your house. Why? Because if you can do it on camera, somebody's gonna make a dollar off of it. And that's not. I. Wow, he reminds me of a forest animal. I don't know. Is it fox? Not a fox. Um, um, squirrel. Not a squirrel. Squirrel. Um, um, rac raccoon. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, he reminds me of some sort of forest animal. Maybe a raccoon. Um, shit. I, I don't know what to say. Like. I, yeah, I need, to, I need to find out if he has a channel. How fair to you? Young people today are too sensitive. I think it's a good thing that young people are sensitive. I think today they can be more sensitive than what they probably could have been 30 or 40 years ago. You know, the growing up was the Berlin crisis, the Cuban Missile Crisis. I mean, we had the threat of annihilation, you know, staring at us several times. And a lot of I, I, I no, no, I saw that. I, I saw this shit, um, but, um, What I don't get is climate change. Climate change is a motherfucking thing that is happening right now. It is literally staring us in the face. We're seeing it. We're experiencing it. Um, okay, okay. I'm gonna say this in a I need y'all to help me out with this. All right, first, 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 first. Um, um, and like it's fine, Joe, but um, Twitch has been um banning people for um anti-racist stuff. So I just, just, just please be careful because we don't want to talk about different things like saltines or stuff like that. Um. Also, 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 also. This actually reminds me too. Like, um, if you're watching this on YouTube playback, if you're watching this like on when I do the when I put the YouTube clip up, um, YouTube's monitor monitor ah, monetization actually is catching some of this uh, some of my people's comments. So, like, please just just I don't monitor I don't um, cut comics out, but YouTube auto mods do. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> X wins comment of the night so far. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, but yeah, no, just, just like I want to see everybody's comment, even people that don't like me. I want to see your comments on the YouTube videos or on the Twitch videos and stuff like that. Um, I don't, like the only comments that I remove are quite literally the, the spam comments from like different bots. But just like, I, yeah, just to let you guys know. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, let's get back to the video. Thank God John Kennedy handled it. The country has been spoiled for so long. They're trying to make it so a man can't be a man. And if you wait, I can be a man. 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 
Hi, I'm Crimson. I was assigned male at birth. I have a penis. Uh, you know, substantially larger. Um, but, like, I choose to present as a man. Um, actually, because, to be honest with you, I do get some privilege because people take me a little bit more seriously than what they would take a woman. And, I, like, I feel comfortable with being a man, you know? Born a male, became a man. Nothing is stopping me from doing that. As a matter of fact, my manness, if that's a word, is not judged by other motherfuckers. Because I'm not some big motherfucking meaty, except for my penis, uh, <laughs> veiny guy. It doesn't make me less of a man than anybody else. All three of these motherfuckers up there, I will claim as a man. One is more fit, one is more lean, and one is Winnie the Pooh shape. But I wouldn't take away from them being men if that's what they present themselves to actually be. That's not how this works. Nobody can take your man card. That's not how this shit works. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's not a thing. It doesn't happen that way. But I'm sure for these guys, they're afraid. Man, like, even that. Like, God damn. Whoever you sleep with, unless it's, you know, being predatory, doesn't take away from your manliness. It doesn't. Like, like side note, side note, side note, side note. So... And I'm getting off topic. You ever had a conversation with people that are so fucking toxic with their masculinity, they think if a gay dude likes them, then they must be doing something that is gay or something like that. And not in a, when, like, they take it as pejorative, but they think, like, oh my God, I must be doing something that a gay man likes. Like, you do recognize, and I, and I want to tell them, you do recognize that there are gay dudes who like masculine men, like, yeah, bears are a thing. Like, th like that. Th it, you're not doing something that just is out abnormally. But I'm uh, sure a lot of these guys feel that being gay is emasculating. Like, no, there, are, <laughs> there are motherfuckers who are more masculine than you that just so happen to like penis. It's their thing. It is nothing wrong with that. And it's some guys who are more effeminate than the, what you would consider the most effeminate man that slays cooch. It, it, who you sleep with does not dictate your masculinity. It's just who you like busting nuts to. Like, God damn. Like, oh my God. No masculinity is under attack. What's under attack is unnecessary hostility, abusiveness, Fucking ignorance, emotional immaturity, that's what's under attack. And if you're saying that you're a man and you need to be that in order to be a man, that just means you're stupid. It just means you're stupid. If you think being emotionally immature is a requirement for being a man, you're stupid. If you think being unnecessarily hostile and aggressive is a requirement for being a man well you're an abusive piece of shit um and you're stupid <laughs> like like <laughs> let's continue let's continue don't let men be men then things start crumbling society crumbles families crumble and broken homes start happening and kids need a father so 36 percent of kids don't have a father so every boy is, well, my mom is mad at me, my dad don't love me, my dad don't care about me. Maybe I should be gay, maybe I should be trans, I don't know who I am. And your father puts confidence in you. No disrespect. He really just said that. I've been saving this for a while, but, um, Um,
this is some shit where this is like where the data where you see a lot of motherfuckers actually say this shit. Um, but, 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 but here, let me see if I can actually find it. No, stupid. Um, Where is it? I know I saved it. Hmm. No. Is it here? I'm looking for the study. Um, now, I don't know if you guys can read it. I know it's, <coughs> excuse me. The one group that they say isn't spending time with their kids Now, this is the abstract. This article examines how level of non-residential fathers' involvement in child's lives from one to nine different by race, ethnicity, comparing black, white, black, and Hispanic fathers, and then considers how individual and couple characteristics may account for observed differences. Data from the Fragile Families and Child Wellbeing Studies and a random effects models were used to examine how non-residential fathers with respect to time engagement and shared responsibility and co-parenting with mothers is different by race and ethnicity overall black non-residential fathers were significantly more likely to spend time and engage in activities with their children as compared to hispanic fathers but not white fathers. Black fathers also shared responsibilities more frequently and display more effective Cold parenting than Hispanic and white fathers. This study was 2018. What does that mean? Why do I bring it up? Because a myth of black fathers not being in their child's life is just that a fucking myth. What a lot of these motherfuckers mean is people aren't getting married. What? No, people aren't getting married and the family gonna fall again. Oh, but they're still spending time and raising their children together. But they're not getting married. You mean the thing that governments do for tax purposes. But they're not getting married. So you're telling me that they're doing the same thing and cohabit some are even cohabitating without having a different address. With having a different address, they just live together. But they're not getting married. And this co token of a fucking black man is using this shit. Because he's tap dancing for other people. Yeah, sure. Did I just... Oh, God. I lost the video. I lost the video. Um... Hold on.
disrespect anybody, but the younger generation of men are soft. And if we had to go to war, they're not protecting America. There's no better place to be as a, as a black individual or whatever you are in America. He didn't say what I just thought. Oh, okay. Let, let's take that shit from right here. No disrespect to anybody, but the younger generation of men are soft. And if we had to go to war, they're not protecting America. There's no better place to be as a, as a black individual or whatever you are in America. Go to. I, I hate it when people say no disrespect, but then say something highly disrespectful. Um, First of all, the U.S. has drones. And shock. Look, look spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Um. We still have the biggest motherfucking military there is. And I don't care of how weak-wristed your stupid-ass generation wants to put on not manly men. It still doesn't take much energy to pull a fucking trigger or, oh, worse shit, move around a fucking joystick. This is not the fucking 17 ass hundreds where you had to march in formation up and down a regiment in order to show that your military can parade in front of other motherfuckers. We have guns. You know, those things that kill massive amounts of people every day. You don't, you don't need to be a manly man pulling back a 70 pound trigger. It, it, it's a lot of the triggers, just like you are are so fucking light to the touch that it doesn't take take much. Yeah, like it, like we haven't been fighting wars for like ever. <laughs> Please, can we see um can somebody tell me a year where the US has not been in some sort of conflict? I I wait. I wait. The Middle East right now and say you, you gay or you trans and see how they treat you. Johnny, I'm 32 years old and I am a conservative parent. My grandpa. He's 32 years old. I. Fuck, like what? Um, let's see something. I think I have. Hold on, let me see something. I, I want to see if I can actually do this. All right, so we're going to do this. Um, let's see something. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Copy. Um let's see something. I'm gonna actually try something. File. Oh Johnny. Hold on, I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. Because this is gonna bother the fuck out of me. Desktop. Um. Hmm. All right, so All right, so let's see if I can search online. Let's 
See if I can find this motherfucker's picture online. Huh. Cause this is this is irritating me that I can't find them. Um God damn it, he is so fucking dumb. Let's just pull up the Google. Um Damn it, I can't find them. This is irritating my this is irritating me. This is fucking irritating me. Let's let's just finish this video and then um grandfather was a, a no excuse individual. He grew up in the Jim Crow South, but he worked hard. The, the house that he bought is still in our family today. He had a garden in his backyard. If you step past a certain lot, he got on you. So to watch the men before me who really could have been lynched. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, I, I get that his bias score source is 890, 86%. Mixed faculty? Wait, wait, what, is, what do they mean by this? Nope. God damn. Yeah, yeah, factually, factually, I don't, I don't fucking get that, like, all right, look, 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 wait, wait, oh, this, this is coming up, this is gonna be good, let's the finish this shit. Who really could have went through a hardship for not doing what society said, the worst thing that could happen to me is I get a, a mean tweet or a dislike, so. I gotta fully embrace who I am and I know I can create anything with my two hands and feet. I'm Hannah, I'm 17 and I'm a liberal. I really want equality for all and the liberal um, policies that have been passed side more with my values of equality for those who are on the LGBTQ, those who are on the gender spectrum. Something about conservative parents that I don't like is whenever I come across them, they seem to be very rooted in their ways and not willing to listen to someone who's a teenager like me. They think more like, oh, because I'm older, I have more knowledge, which is not necessarily always the case. True. Can we have the disability step forward? This idea that because men are being raised by women that they're weaker is, in my opinion, completely false. Our generation, it's not more sensitive. We're more aware yeah, of all these things. Being facts. transgender and gay is not something that is should be ashamed of or make you feel less. In today's society, that is why women are fighting for equality because this idea that because they only have a mom, they're weaker or because you know they're more sensitive, that's in my opinion, completely false. And I would say in the environment that I grew up in, the teen pregnancies come from girls without fathers. The homicide. I grew up in the 90s, dog. You're 30 fucking two. Yeah, yeah, it's poverty. Poverty. That's come from people without fathers. Every girl that I know if they grow up with a daddy, they get married before they have a kid. Why do they not have fathers? If you want me to be real, because a lot of women make bad choices on the men they procreate with. If you make a He's a red pillar! He's a red pillar! Oh my god! He's into the red pill! He's into the red pill! Oh my god! Oh he's a red pillar! Oh god! Oh God! Oh God! He's a red pillar! Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh. oh God! Thing, that's your responsibility. Every bad thing that I did in my life, it was when my daddy was in jail. When my dad was out and I had my dad's reassurance, I was a better person. I had one daughter that had to move across the country. Wait! So you're telling me the only reason why you did shit that was right is because somebody had to fucking tell you? Wait! What? How Oh shit. Oh shit. I I All right guys. All right. It's coming up on 11 o'clock. I'm sorry. I have to cut this off. I'm going to probably stream this shit tomorrow. I'm going to probably finish this tomorrow. We've had some fun today. I Oh, wow. 
god. If I gave myself the power.